what up everybody welcome back to my channel um, today I am going to show you guys um, my coin collection um, coins that I've been collecting from boxes of pennies I'll actually show you guys right here um, right here 20 25 dollars box of pennies um, uh, buy this at your local bank um, go in there I usually get two boxes at a time um, yeah so yeah um, today I'm going to show you guys my penny my coin collection um, what I have so far um, so in the beginning like how I started the video um, is uh, those what I've gotten so far in the boxes as I, I'll actually show you guys right here um, see this is this is a uh, proof penny from 2002 minted in San Francisco as you can tell um, it's uh, shiny on like the edges are like around like this area right here and then like right here is kind of like not shiny it's like they call it a proof penny here's here's the back yeah it's not in the greatest condition but still still a yeah, proof penny um right here these are pretty cool uh it's a stamped penny it has Alaska stamped on it there if you guys sit right there facing towards Lincoln's head Alaska and stamped penny here's what the back looks like um, right here and then uh, this one is uh, Kennedy stamped facing towards Lincoln right there Lincoln Kennedy's stamped penny. Um, this is 1960, 1969, minted in uh, Denver. Again, that's what the back looks like. The other one was the last stamped one was in 1993. Um, here is um, I grab these right here. These are. Indian head pennies. Um, these are really rare to find. I'm luckily to find at least two of them so far. Um, that's what the front is. Date 1901. Here's uh, what the back looks like. It says uh, one cent. And then here's Here's the other one from 1906, Indian head penny. Same thing on the back. One, one cent. Um, this right here is the coolest one out of all of them. Um, 1921, minted in San Francisco. Um, they call this a uh, wood grain. A wood grain wheat penny. Here's what the back though looks like. And that's the front. It's where the machine made a print error on the coin. It's uh, as you can see right there. It's really nice, uh, pronounced right there. It's really cool. This is one of my favorite coins. Uh, I actually looked up online. Um, if you actually could look up online, 1921S, uh, Wheat Penny, Wood Grain, or Wood Grain, sorry, Wood Grain, uh, look that up, and uh, it actually shows you, this one uh, goes for right now $150, um, really nice, really nice Wheat Penny, nicest one in my collection, um, if you get over here to, uh, the Canadian side, we have a, uh, a 1952 King George the six uh, penny right here. Here's the front of it, and then 
right here is the back of it as you see there in 1952 and then um, this one right here I like these I like finding these these are called bird scents from Canada see a big nice bird right there um, here's what the front of it looks like uh, these are pretty cool I like to find these a lot I only have I think four or five of these those are pretty rare to find um, so um, I'll show you right here um, this is what I do for uh, collecting them so I fill out books um, I'll show you guys I fill out books right here I get the, uh, penny ones I have Canadian books and um, the uh, Americans here's the Canadian ones uh, this is uh, 1920 to 1998 as you guys can see right there as you totally tell don't have this filled in all the way right here I have a pretty nice decent mount right there 1961, 65, 56, and then here's the, this page right here. So that was from 1920 to 1988, and then the other one is um, 1989. So, it's coming off of this first book right here. Here's the first page. Here's the second one. And then the third one, which I only have one over there, which is a 2011. So, that's the Canadian uh, pennies right there. And then uh, we'll get in. Here's the American ones. Um. This one, let's see. Well, actually, let's start. Start with the wheat pennies right here. Um, I get these off of Amazon. You can get them off of Amazon anywhere online. Um, just look up penny collection books. Uh, this is from 1908 to 1958. These are all the years that uh, the wheat pennies were made. Um, Here's the first page. The oldest one I have in here is from 1916. Um, it's a really, really nice, beautiful coin. Um, here's some um, the other teens. I have a 1917 and I have a 1918. Those three right there are minted in Philadelphia. Uh, here's a 1919s. Uh, here's a 1920. Um, here's the second page. Not as filled in. These two aren't as filled in as opposed to these other two pages. Uh, if you could tell that uh, this page is filled in more, because uh, on this side uh, these are um, more common to find. Um, in the forties, pennies are more co common to find than the the others. Same as the 50s. Here's the last page. This one is really, really filled in. I only need uh, only a couple more in here. So. And then uh, here's one uh, from 1958 to 1998. Right there. Here's the first page. Basically all filled in. Right, here's the second page. And then here's the third page all filled in. This book is basically all done. Uh, um, let's see, here's the other one from... 
1975 to 2013. There's the first page. Again, guys, uh, I find these all in uh, penny boxes. Go to your local bank or any bank that you guys go to. Um, you guys can even get a couple rolls, too, if you guys want. Um, here's the 2009s right here. This one I like a lot. To me, it looks like somebody either uh, put a marker on it, purple. It's really nice, really good. This one's really good, too. And, um, so yeah, that is uh, my penny collection. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, if you guys haven't already, go check my, uh, other video, my other video out, my first video. Um, uh, so thank you guys for coming back in. And, um, actually I'll show you guys here. So like I was saying, um, earlier about, uh, wheat pennies and my other video, uh, wheat pennies, uh, that's what I mainly find right now and pennies to look for in my uh, collections to put in my books. And um, uh, so I get those boxes and uh, I'll show you guys right now how many I have. Um, I keep them on sticky notes and stuff. Um, I actually keep track of them. So I'll show you guys right here. So if you look right here, um, my first box I added told uh added all of them right here came up to 85 wheat pennies that's just the first sticky note um if you go over here show you guys that's like the first page right there okay And that's coming off of uh, the first one I showed you. Um, that has 55 wheat pennies added up to it. And then if you go on the back of it, 61 wheat pennies. And then, let's see. And then this one right here has 77 wheat pennies added up on that one and then this one 51 and then I haven't hunted those boxes yet so if you guys add all of those up right there um, so if you add uh, 85 55 61, um, here's the back of this one, Let's see, 43, 46, 77, and 51, um, I think that's like around 411, I'm pretty sure, 411, um, so yeah, I have 400, and, um, just, yeah, over 400 wheat pennies, and, um, and remember, I hunt these boxes, and I find wheat pennies and, like, other good stuff in these boxes. And um, I'll actually tell you guys right now, these boxes are actually pretty heavy. They're, like, 14 pounds a box, like, 14 and a half pounds a box. And um, so, yeah, guys, just let me know um, how you guys like the video. And um, if you guys have any questions, just let me know, too, also. And... Uh, Check out the other video, and um, you all have an amazing day and a blessed day, and um, i see you guys back here next week. Um, I'll be posting a video once a week, and uh, probably, I don't know what I'll do next. I'll probably be getting a box of pennies, and uh, hunting a box of pennies, and um, see what we can find in there in next week's video, and I'll be trying to post a uh, trying to post a video once a week here. So yeah, you guys have a blessed day and an amazing day. And I hope to see you guys next week. Thank you all. Bye-bye.